50k in May, episode 9. Update on the challenge, we have a lot of red. I played some small sessions on Tuesday and Wednesday, putting in some lighter volume days, and both of them were small losing days, so some more red on the challenge. We're going to be down 19,000 heading into today's session. One of the first tournaments I registered, we want a ticket to the 320 this afternoon. Okay, big spot and a satellite to the 1K. Gonna have to go with this one. We're still too far out from the seat with too good of a hand. Good luck. Played a nice spot here in the 109. Raise call call, or three deck call call, sorry. See that big call. Shove the turn, call. Hmm. Also played a lovely pot here in the $320. Raise call. Flop a set, check, bet, call, or sorry, raise, call. Check, bet, raise, full house, unreal on the bubble of the saddie. We both had one big blind. I do win this crucial all in. So now I'm at five big blinds, six out of 15 and top 13 get a ticket. So pretty good shot. We'll see. Oof, it's been a swingy session so far today. Uh, if this 1K satellite can work out for us, that's always going to be really nice uh, to be able to play something big like that. Um, that 320 that we want to satellite to is starting up in a few minutes. So we're going to try to manage the swings and uh, catch some run good. All right, we locked it up. 1K ticket tournament has started right now. This is what the current schedule looks like two hours in. Just finished 10th when nine get paid here in the deep stack. So that hurts. All right, we shove in the 1K. Big blind calls, pretty scary. So in the 1K, I played a combo draw, flush draw, straight draw, put in two streets and missed all my outs. So I check folded. And then I had that ace king spot, so. Just more run bad in the high stakes, and that's it's kind of holding us back in the series so far. All my 500s and both 1Ks, or all three 1Ks I've played haven't gone well. Um, so that sucks. We're at the five hour mark of the Thursday grind. Have some legit spots now. This is a, a fun part of the session. In the money of this 109 scoop, uh, big prize pool, don't have a lot of bounties and a decent stack. Uh, we are on the bubble of the 215 bounty hunter. We are on the bubble of the 109 millions and we have some other games running. So kind of triple in the money now. As usual for this part of the day, we do have quite a bit of ground to make up, 3,800 in buy-ins and 600 in caches, but hopefully some of these can close the gap. Final four tables, 109 millions, 109 scoop, and a couple of side events. It's a brutal hour. We had, I think I had eight tables an hour ago, and some of them were really good in the money. Uh, we were running deep in that 320 day one on party, so just kind of bummed that another session has kind of fallen off, but still four tables left, still kind of a winning day, and uh, making day two of this 109 would be pretty sweet, so I'm going to try to finish strong and uh, have a good day. One nine scoop, we were getting uh, deep about 30 minutes from day two. We run tens into jacks into ace king. That was a huge pot, but not going our way. 
Final two tables for the session, 55 Hyper were four out of four and the 109 millions were 17 out of 17. So rocking some short stacks. Current stack, seven out of 14 left. First place is 2.7 thousand plus the bounties. So we're middle of the pack. Similar to that day two we had, there's a lot of deep stacks. Gonna have to be quite patient. Just trying to finish out strong. It's, uh, it, it has a chance to be a winning day with this tournament. And, you know, even a decent finish could bring our day to where, you know, I'm only down a little bit. So either of those results would be nice. And, uh, you know, headed to the weekend on a positive note or a decent note. Um, yeah. Just want a pretty favorable pot in this uh, 109 deep run. King, queen against jacks, all in on the flop. They had about 14 blinds and we get there. So that was pretty crucial. Still middle of the pack, six out of 12. Pretty crazy pot here. We have queen, queen. It's kind of actually a sneaky good spot to flat the queens uh, because with ICM and stuff, when we start to three bet here, you know, pocket nines and eights might start to fold, pocket sevens, these kind of hands that can shove for my opponents, ace queen, ace jack, king queen suited. So it's kind of a nice flat with some queens and some jacks, believe it or not. And I have the right kind of lineup behind where people are gonna wanna play some shoves and this player could be aggressive covering everyone. So I, I like the flat once in a while here. Ends up going three ways to the flop. Jack eight, 10, small bet in position. We like this flop a lot. Small blind calls. We're feeling really good against uh, small blinds range because pocket jacks, tens and eights are gonna go all in a lot. Jack 10 might fold pre-flop, queen nine might fold pre-flop, 10 eight probably folds pre-flop. So we have just the best hand almost always against this range. Uh, pre-flop razor also calls. Turn is really good. We barrel. Small blind goes all in. We're expecting some flush draws. King, queen, ace, jack, king, jack, uh, queen, jack. River, the nuts. They had a set of eights. That pot was so lucky. And the whole reason I flatted preflop is for hands like the pocket eights to go all in preflop safely. Whereas if I were to three bet, pocket eights folds preflop. So it ended up working out how I intended to get action from players to my left, but it ended up being post flop in a spot where I would never assume they would have pocket eights. So I got super lucky on the river. Um, but yeah, I think a nice play. Open up the king six and the cutoff here, big blind calls, play a range bet. There's multiple choices we can have on this uh, flop, but we went for a range sizing. Calls, turn is the deuce, we play a check back with one of our weakest kings here. River is the jack. Not in love with the spot, but after check, check, turn, they could even have a weaker king. Um, they could have uh, six, five, six, eight, low spades, heart floats. So there's just a little too much to really love folding here. So we call and king queen. Nine or nine end up flipping and losing. So did scoop that cash for 1300 to close the gap today. Finished down around a thousand, which is not so bad. I think anything between 500 and 1500 is in my mind sort of break even you know could have gone either way um and yeah the, the big stuff didn't really pan out today so decent session it was a good grind i played as many tournaments as i wanted to but that was that gonna continue the productive nature of this day and uh we're gonna hit the gym get some groceries and uh hopefully study when i get back It actually feels good to be outside. It's been like four and a half days because of the smoke and uh, I don't know, just haven't fit it in my schedule, so it's nice. All right, so we're gonna do some study now. I, uh, I'm gonna watch a training video from Raise Your Edge. Ben CB is the head coach. I've been 
kind of consuming their content for a few years now and uh, keeps updating the course with new stuff. I'm looking at exploits uh, due to population analysis that they've done. So that's what I'm watching. And then I'm gonna do some quizzes with the Paired app uh, to follow and that'll be my study tonight.